slow. We should actually film this. Scary for a moment. So that was somewhat successful. Uh, I'm just going to move the stand out of the way, sweep the floor. I'm going to set it up on dunnage. I'm going to level it, shin it, and level it. And if I have to move it, because I might be starting work again next week or the week after, I don't know. Uh, I want to be able to put on caster so I can roll it out of the way.
So I'm going to slide this over, make sure I've got enough space. So it still rips stuff at the table saw. I'm going to shim it up and level it, and then we'll get back to construction. All right, well, I got it on the floor. I got it up on dunnage, leveled it side to side and front to back. A couple of shims on the dunnage, and then in the center, I put some blocks. Some more shims doesn't sag. And also, I skinned, before I put it down, actually, I put these skins on this lower section. Keep that stiff, at least in that orientation. So now, I'm just going to cut some short supports for the side and then just set them till they're level. So that should hold it quite a bit more square until I can get the skins on. I got a bunch more framing to do. And uh, so I'm gonna cut these supports, get these wings supported, and then I'll be uh, back to working on the frame. Okay, so I cut my short supports. So that'll hold it pretty square. So I'll get my sheathing on. I'll finish the rest of the framing and then get the sheathing on. So I'll continue the other three corners and uh, get back to framing. So I'm just sticking these close to the corners, but not where I'm going to have to put any framing material. Gonna raise it up till it's level. And then we'll just put one screw in for now. Okay, so that's going to hold it. Let's do the other corners. <clears throat> okay. I've been filming some stuff in a while. You might be a little bit behind, but probably not that far off the mark. So I've got an angled front piece, so I'm cutting some half flaps. So I cut the angle on the chop saw, and then I ran the dado stack to the short side, so there's a little bit cleaning up. I didn't feel like adjusting my miter gauge. I'm just gonna do these by hand. So I've marked them. <laughs> Fancy joinery. I'm not concerned about a mild overcut. Let's do the other one. Overcut. 
this would be best if I had it in a vertical position to cut these. But because these are quite long, got the clamp on this baby. And then I could just use the half lap I cut. And I'll probably clean that up with a chisel slightly. This way, I guess. Okay, so looks pretty good. I'm just going to probably clean it up a little bit with a chisel and then I'm going to get back to what I was doing previously. Okay, so I actually didn't film when I'm doing the long pieces, but I might as well film when I'm doing the short pieces. So this is set, the fence is set to the short side. I'm gonna to have to trim it like I did previously or I just filmed previously. I'm not sure the order of viewing. Anyway, uh, the angle cut on this piece, I'm gonna cut a straight dado and then I'm just gonna trim it up with a handsaw to get the angle. It's easier than readjusting this. Got it all set up because you have to do opposite angles anyway. Little handwork never hurt anybody. So I'm just going to do a little hand work again. Okay, so this one. I should have marked it properly. Actually, where's my bevel? Okay, so this is an eight degree bevel. So I just want to make just a little saw starter. Okay, so, let's see if it's 
side. And then I'm just gonna mark down the side with a square. But it comes off in a juice. a reference to make sure I'm going down straight but so clamp again two clamps will get the best results however So I'm just starting at a slight angle. Pretty good. So it's an angle, but it's essentially the same thing. Uh, it'll be two small screws and then temporarily I'll put in short ones. And then when I have my cross piece going across, I'll sink some long ones into it. All right guys, didn't look like much progress has happened, but there actually has. So we've got these tops secured at this back post and the front right there. These studs in the middle aren't done yet. They'll be secured momentarily. Uh, so we've got these back pieces going on. It's gonna be a half lap, and then it's gonna sit on that little shelf right there. It's screwed through that way. And I've gotta put another vertical member here. Once this little bit of work is done, I got the framing for the front to do. Got my assemblies here, they're pretty much ready to go. I'm just gonna fit in these dados here. Boink. Boink. Uh, then I'm getting all my front pieces on. So pretty soon the outside frame will be finished and I can fill in, there's a couple windows to frame in and then a bunch of small little studs to put in, set a few, well quite a few, oops, <laughs> danger, uh, just quite a few little details to try to figure out, 